Chuck has been in Bartlesville, Oklahoma for the past few days trying to get help for sick and starving dogs and roosters, all of whom are believed to be part of a dogfighting and cockfighting operation. We released two previous videos on this issue over Memorial Day weekend, showing pictures and videos of the animals in flooded cages filled with mud and feces. In this video, we're going to show you the desperation of just one dog. A neighbor named her Little Bit. As you can see, she is starving and has a swarm of flies on her back. She's practically out of her mind with hunger and suffering. We did what we could by throwing treats over a neighbor's fence. Her reaction was instantaneous. It was apparently the first food she had had in days. Here, girl, look the ones up here. We got more up here. There we go, there we go, look at her. Look at her go. She was forced to drink rainwater pooled in the mud. When was the last time Little Bit had clean, fresh water to drink? For years, concerned neighbors have asked the police for help and received none. In the last few days, I personally went to the sheriff's department twice looking for action. The police refused to help. On Sunday, May 31st, I accompanied neighbors back to the property and saw the extreme suffering of Little Bit. I made a call to the sheriff's department and made it clear in no uncertain terms they needed to come out. They're really polite for two days while these guys suffer. I'm not going to be polite anymore. I want somebody out here and I want them now. This is not how I talk to the police. If I don't absolutely have to, but I absolutely have to have some help out here and we need it now. A short time later, two sheriff's deputies arrived. No one can look at this poor girl who appears to have been used for breeding and is now basically discarded and not see animal cruelty. And yet, the two sheriff's deputies looking at this dog and all the other animals did nothing. Look at the heavy chain around Lil Bit and the other dogs. This is the kind of chain a dog fighter uses. They say it makes a dog tough. It is they who should be wearing these chains. What makes this even worse is that young people live at this house what does it do to a young soul to see such cruelty? If someone can treat an innocent dog like this, what's happening to the children? We hope that Child Protective Services will investigate because such cruelty and indifference to life is rarely limited to animals. Animal cruelty is a felony in Oklahoma, and those responsible for this should be charged, prosecuted, and thrown in jail. We should note that the sheriff's Facebook page has deleted comments about this issue. How telling. The sheriff wants to keep this as quiet as possible, so that means we need to make as much noise as possible. Please continue to call not only the Washington County Sheriff, but the Washington County Board of Commissioners and Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt. Note that the county commissioners are meeting this Tuesday, June 1st. If you live in or near Bartlesville or anywhere in the county, please ask the commissioners to have the anti-cruelty laws enforced. Let it be understood by the authorities, the cockfighters, and the dogfighters alike. Shark will continue to monitor this situation. We want these animals protected, and we want the children protected. How can Oklahoma authorities stand for anything less? I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.